It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. So Bitcoin on the four hour, it's dropping below 45 like it was yesterday. It's kind of building a little bit of higher lows here in this recent little bit of consolidation. So if that can hold, we should see it back up. Liam from Confident in Crypto, if you haven't checked out his channel yet, was just talking about the Bitcoin dominance of market cap and all of that. And it does look like we may be going into an alt season where Bitcoin could take a downturn some. If that is the case and it does drop, I think we have some pretty strong support at this 42,000 and the 41,500 where the 200 day is. With movers like Luna and Solana right now, there is certainly an argument or a case to be made for us going into a really hot altcoin season and maybe Bitcoin loses some attention. But at the moment, it's still right there at that 45,000. So at any time, you know, we could see a pop up back up uh, above this major resistance line the top of the channel here. I still do think it's going to try to test 50,000 before we see much of a pullback. But just be aware, it could drop to 42,000. Ethereum holding in this channel, back in the channel, but holding in it so far held that 3,000 bottom of support, pushing up off of it. So it looks like it'll probably have a rebound back here when it broke down below the channel for a second. It shot back up. We should get a rebound on this in the next day or two. If it doesn't, then Ethereum will come all the way down to this 200 day at 27.50. But right now it does look like it's holding support pretty well. So Cardano getting active again, bouncing off of that area. I was talking about the bottom of the channel at 190. It's back up in that 215 area testing. So we break over 215, we should hit 230 again. And this time I think we have a good shot of breaking that 230 especially with the moves we're seeing on some of these other altcoins. If not, it would just come back down again and test this 190. But 88 looking like it's close to moving back to the top of that channel. Today's top gainer currently ACH. This one had sold off really hard and found a little bit of support at about six cents before having a rip up to eight and a half cents. Getting held up at the channel currently, but if it can get back in there, then it can start bouncing around again and possibly push up. Luna still on fire, hit a new high of 30, about 30, 30, and had a sell off there, but it's pushed back up in the past little while, and it's testing that 30 area again. You can see as I'm recording here, we're about to test right now. So if we break this 30 area strong, if we start getting more buying volume, then this could get up to 3540. So I talked to Liam from Confident in Crypto about Luna because he's real deep in the cosmos atmosphere with uh, the gravity decks, persistence, all of that. And he said the way that it works with USDT, when USDT is minted, Luna is burned, decreasing the supply of Luna. And when USDT is burned, Luna will mint and make new Luna. As USD is becoming more popular and we're seeing more and more being minted because more and more people are using it, you're seeing that the supply of Luna decrease right now. So at some point, if people lose interest in USDT or there's a downturn in the crypto market, then we could see the supply of Luna inflate back up. It's an interesting tokenomic, but right now because it is running, it seems like USD is becoming more popular. I'm not exactly sure where this could stop at if it if it keeps running like this. If we break 30. So we just got rejected there on this attempt, but still nice to see it touch there. I'm thinking $50 may be a fair profit target for this uh, if it does break 30. If it doesn't, it's going to come back down probably to 25. And if not 25, it'll probably hold at 20. But you do want to kind of keep up with USDT and Luna, what's happening with them, since they do have that direct correlation with the burns. Now, Solana somehow got off of my watch list, so I did not see any of this move. It was on my watch list a couple of weeks ago, but I did some changes and I must have deleted it. But explosion on Solana. This thing just ripping all the way up to $80. And this is a blockchain that does have projects already being built on it and some that are already active. 
You can see that it rejected off of 80, but bouncing off the 10 days so far, looks like it wants to continue to run. If it breaks 80, I mean, hey, it could go up to 100, and then from there we'll see what happens. If it doesn't break 80, it's going to drop back down. Uh, right here to the 60 area could be some support, if not the 50 day at 55. So I definitely want to keep on watch as it is getting a lot of attention right now. So I did get out of CGLD and got in Axie after Axie had that big huge pop. Uh, I got in here around like 72 looking for the support to hold. I'm still holding it because it has been popping back up over that support line. So it was previous resistance. Still kind of acting as resistance, but if it can jump back up there again and start holding that support, uh, I think we can see Axie Infinity continue to run. But it does have a pretty big market cap already, so it depends if that game continues to get new users and new players. If it keeps getting new users and new players, then they're going to be transacting and buying the Axie Infinity token for that game, and that could continue to run the price up. So I'm keeping an eye on Axie just to see because when I looked at it originally on the Framework Fortune channel it was at two dollars never got into it so yeah I'm kicking myself in the head because I did say in that video that it had a ton of potential to be like the next Pokemon and it's on the blockchain Cosmos Adam after seeing more into the ecosystem of Cosmos and Lunaterra and Persistence and, and some of these Cosmos ecosystem chains uh, Cosmos has a lot of potential even though it's been lagging you know it's coming up to 18 right now I think we could see it break 18 and maybe move back up to this $25 area because one thing that they do have going on with this ecosystem if you're a staker of Atom they will do coin drops for new Cosmos ecosystem projects and blockchains not every single one but from what I've heard, they do quite a bit of coin drop. So even though you may not get huge interest on staking Atom, it has some extra perks. And some of those coin drops have been like Persistence and different things like that. And persistence is now like 950. So there is some money to be made that's kind of sneaky money, not in a bad way, but just sneaky money besides the interest you can make with Atom. So it's definitely worth checking out Atom and the Cosmos ecosystem. A lot of excitement from Liam about it, and the more I dig into it, it's actually it's pretty wild. I think Liam is on to something with this Cosmos ecosystem and all the projects. So Balancer did get up over 30, pulling back for now, but maybe a possible entry at 25. If it can continue to hold that up, you can see it push back up again. Pretty low supply coin. CLV did crack below the uptrend here, but holding up the 50 day. So it could get a bounce off the 50 soon if it continues to push up like it is. Dogecoin not able to break that downtrend. Looked like it was going to break, but held up so far. It pushed all the way down to the 50 day, but bounced off. Could break that downtrend uh, tonight, maybe. If it can continue to push, if Bitcoin maybe heats back up some, there's a, you know, a lot of headlines going around about Dogecoin right now, so got to keep it on watch just because it can get hype in it. Harvest Finance, I'm still holding farm, haven't sold it yet because it's holding that 250 area like I was talking about, and now you can see we kind of have a possible another triangle breakout. This would be a big triangle breakout of consolidation, so I would expect a pretty big move out of it. That's what I'm looking for. If it cracks 250 and doesn't hold up at all, then uh, I'd be getting out of this lock in a profit looking to get back in lower. But as of right now, it's looking pretty good. So that's all the coins I'm going to cover for today. Bitcoin and Ethereum still need to hold these support areas and get back up testing resistance. But with the strength we're seeing out of altcoins like Luna and Solana does seem to solidify that we're moving into a more altcoin heavy market, a more altcoin bull cycle, I think, as Liam's predicting. And if there's any coins that I'm not currently covering on a weekly basis, leave them down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on if we're going to be hitting a possible altcoin bull market. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.